Hey guys, uh, this week we're making our camera mount slash stand. You can put a phone in there and it'll just sit there and you can watch a video or whatever. Uh, but it also mounts to the top of a tripod and uh, allows you to film stuff with your camera fairly easily. This is what I started off with. Um, this is just a scrap, basically. Uh, when I'm casting metal, I have a little uh, muffin tray. I pour the excess into the muffin tray, and that's what I end up with. So, we are going to turn this into this. Now, what I'd like to do is have this mounted in like this, okay? But unfortunately, because of this round edge and the fact that it's really distorted right in this area right here, it won't sit flat. Every time I try to tighten these screws down, it pops out. So I'm going to have to put it in like this. It's a little precarious, but it does hold. And uh, we will just take a, a few light passes. Maybe I'll come around the edge here as well, and that'll allow me to turn it over. All right. Um, because of the distortion around the edge here, um, the only real place that I can indicate it off is about halfway up. Um, I don't know how well you can see it, but this is really, the surface of this is really distorted. It goes in, it goes out. Um, this edge itself is okay all the way around until about here and then again right in here where it um, it goes in there's some nicks and stuff in that one side so I'm hoping that this surface right here will be enough that I can indicate that let's take and engage the rotary table and you can already see it's off Okay, we got, what jaw is this? Jaw number three is at zero. So, you know what, screw that. I'm just gonna spin it with my hand. Let me come over to jaw one. The trick to these, what you wanna do, okay? If you wanna move this direction, you wanna tighten this one. Um, will leave this one sort of snug okay so you're gonna split the difference we'll call that good enough and then you're gonna want to tighten this one up just till it's snug and then we can spin that around again we will indicate Zero. Go around. Whoa, that's not right. That's zero. And that's about one. Close enough. Now we do this one. Oh, I'm running out of travel here. <laughs> All right, we got zero on this side. We've got. 50 thou over there. So let's call that about half. It's a little bit more than half, but I can live with it. And then we, well, I want to zero it first. only out by five. Alright, now let's see our overall spin. We get a little high right there. 
that's back to zero. A little high right there. And a little high right there. Let's come back here. We'll split the difference on this one. All right. Now centered to my table. Just give these guys a little bit of a quarter turn to tighten them down. All right. Now, you know what? I'm going to go get some grease for these handles. All right. Got some all purpose grease on there. And they sound a whole lot better. Although I still have to anchor this machine and shim it down. Um, quick note, I am I am wearing safety glasses. I'll tilt this here so you can you can see. I am wearing safety glasses. Um, however, I'm not wearing gloves. Um, but like I said, I uh, I do have gloves and I do wear them occasionally. So. Let's get this on the move. There we go. Let's make sure our spindle's locked. Don't want that floating around. Okay. Now this thing takes forever to spin. It's a 90 to 1 ratio. Which means that for every time I go around, it goes four degrees. So, it's a little bit of a pain. However, it's very accurate when I need it to be. Alright, um, I went to adjust the camera a little bit higher to give you a better angle. And found out that this handle would have been right in the way of all the work I was doing. So I pulled that off. And we're going to give this another shot. The machining at the top of this is just going to take too long with this cutter. So I'm going to do the edge, and then I'm going to come back with something a little bit bigger. Let's actually bring it around to somewhere you can actually see. I noticed in the last pass that I went backwards a few rot rotations. I just wanted to see what sort of finish it would leave, uh, and I didn't like it, so I just kept going the same way I was. Now, to change cutters.